Hey guys, here we have a drone pilot. Like one of those. He's the founder of the drone rules and he supports everything and anything to do with drone. Can follow me. So let's go now to the BAPC and find out more about his business. I'm gonna be asking you the question that everybody wants to know. How much money did you make last month? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Going straight in there. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think last month I made around 14 and a half thousand. Whoa, that's a good number. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I wish I could go there one day. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now the, the next question I wanted to ask, it is, with, with drones, you can do so much. I mean, you can do recording videos, you can be doing engineering, surveillance. Yeah. But what, what, do, what do you actually do? Yes, yeah, good question, because the business is quite varied. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. And, um, I mean, drones are great for agriculture, so MP, natural potassium phosphates, you know, dropping seeds, or, or even just... Um, looking at soft thermal mapping, mm -hmm. all the way to kind of um, uh, passenger carrying drones, yep. you know, and there's, there's 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 various. But what we do is is really consultation training. I know it sounds boring, but it's really <laughs> it, because it works across the industry. You can train people within the drone industry. Yeah, um, and wh whatever you're doing, you're probably going to need a pilot currently. Mm -hmm. So um, we're training people how to fly, how to operate them. Uh, and also consulting for them, so doing extreme operations, such as Zold. Yeah, flying drones, but <laughs> close to people, um, large ones and fast ones. Yeah, because I know also you do a lot of work with kids and you do so much stuff with them. I mean, that's incredible. Yeah, there's a lot of STEM events. So we, we do a, a range of STEM events to schools, we go to colleges, and um, we also go to kind of institutions where sort of young people are maybe Finding finding challenging to work great, um, or finding challenging to be in schools. So Good. to work with people who come from more difficult backgrounds. Yeah. So so now the question is, how did the drone rules began? The drone rules began, <laughs> I think, mid October. I woke up one day, mm -hmm. and I realised that this industry is going to take off in a massive way over the next five years. Yeah. Um, and I realised that. Because of the situation that I was in, I was very much engaged in, in flying drones and I was sort of at the beginning stages, but I found out that there's going to be, it's going to be a billion dollar industry. Oh, so, and, and it actually, I think it's almost there now. Um, in I mean, so I thought one exciting field is full of technology, programming, artificial intelligence, and and it's the future for, yeah. for, for passenger carrying um, transportation. Yeah. So it was perfect. And so I, I decided to create the Drone Rules, li <laughs> drone rules Limited. That's great. So in your beginnings, as you were talking about, yeah. what was your biggest mistake and how do you deal with it? That, 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 that biggest mistake. <laughs> so I'm going deep. So okay, yeah, that's fine. Absolutely fine. No, I, I would say the biggest mistake I made was the first day. I bought my drone. It's a DJI Phantom 4. Uh, for those who don't know what uh, a DJI Phantom 4 is, it's uh, yeah, it's called, what's called what we call a quadcopter. It's got yeah. four arms. Um, it's a very capable drone with a workhorse, mm -hmm. and it'll do about um, 40, 35, 40 miles an hour. Whoa. And I, I on my, the first day I bought it, I think back in 2017, I flew it into a tree. And um, four walls. It, 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 did you break it? Oh, well, it's smashed to, to, to several yeah. dozen, dozen pieces. It cost me about £1,200 to fit. Oh, oh, oh. So it's, it's expensive. Did, did, you have, did you have insurance or did you have it or did you didn't have it that time? No, I, I had insurance. The problem was is I was I was now choosing my first ever day. Yeah, and a big dro a, a drone of that sign. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, it was expensive. But I had insurance. Unfortunately, I didn't take insurance out anyhow because... Um, because I wanted to keep my 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 no clues. Yeah, <laughs> yep. I mean, you're not the only one. Many people do that. Yeah. yeah. So, what did you do in the past to allow you to be where you are right now? Like, 
what was your secret? Um, so, so I think there's a lot of things I've done in the past, but if I had to pick one thing I did, um, was just being passion driven, mm -hmm. um, and, and but constantly. So it wasn't like, you know, I know there's ups and downs, but even through the, the worst times, I was just constantly speaking and communicating with customers and clients, giving out stuff for free a lot. Initially, in the kind of pin, the sort of the first phases, because I could, yeah, um, and that's what's kept me going. I think is is just be, you know, caring for the people I, I work, yeah, and work for, yeah, perfect. So now, uh, edgy question, okay? This, this question comes from a space from a very popular Spanish show. Okay, so you have to choose. Okay, you have two choices. You can choose the first or the second question. The first question is how much money have you got in your bank account right now, and the second question is. How about your sex life? <laughs> so, which one would you like to say? One, both, or both? I would say, uh, I think maybe the first one. Okay, but I hope that's good enough. Yeah. So, I would say, um, I think I've currently got about approximately six and a half K. Well, not fast as you do. I mean, it's not a lot. And because and yeah, you don't need to have more, because basically, are, are you doing this and then you reinvest your money in different ways? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't take any money out of the the business, not not a lot anyway. Okay. So, uh, I mean, I'm constantly working within the business, so I don't really need money for anything else. You know, I've got I've got a house, I've got a car, um, you know, I've got a motorcycle, uh, and I get to you know I do my leisure yeah. here on the weekends sometimes. So, so I've got everything I need really. I don't really need to yeah. have you know tens or hundreds of thousands of pounds in the bank. I don't really take that much money out the the business anyway because I'm focusing on growing the business and, and helping and supporting so so uh, talking about the business is how much money did you actually put from your own pocket no time but money how much money did I put in my own pocket yeah well to start the business oh I, I put in a couple of drones so I, I put in yeah. quite a bit actually um I can't remember maybe maybe 10,000 Maybe I I don't think it was ten thousand. I think but that's good because you're making much more now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Return on investment is incredible. Yeah. Um, I would say maybe less than ten thousand. Yeah. Because now, question is, if you have to choose, because a lot of people say that if you have money, you can invest it within the stock market. Yeah. But what do you think was more productive? Invest that money in yourself or put it within the market? For yourself, what do you think it was more worth it for you in your case, not for the audience, but for yourself? I would say you reinvest in yourself first. I, I, I think when you invest, there, there's like an efficiency level. And I think that um, reinvesting yourself in the right way is more efficient than reinvesting in the, yeah. in the, in the stock market. I, I, I really think, yeah, I, I, and which is why I've done that. And actually, the, your return on investment, I think, will be, will be either higher or faster yeah. if you invest in yourself. Because, I mean, there are many, many companies that when they open, they close. But the ones that they open and they remain, yeah. their return investment says will be much higher yeah. than any stock market for any fund that people put the money on. However, the difference is that people need to actually put the, the time. Yeah. And I think the time is what makes the company work much better. Time and effort. Yeah. 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 And, and uh, the sort of efficiencies as well. So, also, so yeah, have you got that? No, that's it. Yeah. Good, good, good. So now, Will, yes. you had actually. One of the happiest person I have ever met. Oh, thanks. How, how do you do it? How do I do it? You know, I don't know. <laughs> no, I would say that I, um, I'm very much about progress. I think I, I personally believe that happiness comes from progress. And, uh, I, you know, every day I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about how to better myself. Yeah. I, I actually, there's, I have like a, a sheet of paper, which I, which I read every morning, every night. And it's got like so ten, ten things I state, mm. and uh, I think through oh, through progress and through realizing your dreams, because I think if you if you reinvest in yourself as we yeah. in, the, in the previous question, and you're on your you know you're speaking your goal, you bring it to life, and um, why should you not be happy? Yeah, why not? And um, so, I and actually. I prefer to be happy than not happy. Who <laughs> <laughs> doesn't? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But then, how do you cope when things don't work right? Yeah, uh, things often don't work right. <laughs> but I would, I would say that um, it is hard. 
especially if you've if you've got very few friends uh, and yeah you i mean how do i do i, I think i just push through it I, I tend to push it i do often ask for help though so so i'll, I'll try a little a little bit myself but then I'll, I'll reach out to people who can help and i think yeah. one of the things i would suggest to you know, to a lot of people is definitely go out to if you can get help get out absolutely if you can get support whether it's a, a business partner or if it's a mentor or if it's you know it could be just family or family or friends uh, reach out to them if they can spot you great yeah if they can you know try and find other ways alternative ways of pushing through it um so yeah perfect so for example with yourself i many many people could be starting the same business as you do yeah and fail but what do you think was different than you did to allow you to be in the position that you are now within your marketing or in different ways? What have you done different to be where you are now? To be where I am now? I would say maybe number one, charisma. <laughs> Honestly, being charismatic helps. And it actually helps because I'm quite charismatic. I think there's all people saying to me. Yeah, I admit what you are. And, and posit bring, bringing positivity. Honestly, the, 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 that's a return on investment in itself. Yeah. Being in terms of people, people coming back to you because you know, there's energy. You know, where, wherever energy goes, wherever energy flows, energy flows. That's what that's all, that's all, that was all one said to me. Where energy, where energy flows, energy goes. And I think if you have that energy, yeah. it, people want, want to come back to you. So yeah. I, I would highly suggest, um, yeah, just, just being just being positive where you possibly can. Yeah, and that's helped me a lot in terms of communicating with different clients and people and stakeholders yeah. and shareholders. Yeah, uh, and also when there's a problem, or f try and find the solution as opposed to maybe yeah. complaining. Perfect. That's yeah. a good way. Yeah. So now I'm gonna be asking your question, which is, I mean, I know you a little bit, and I know some interesting projects that you have done. But what are the most interesting projects that you have done with internal rules? Yeah. Okay. That one's relatively easy. So, okay, I had an exciting opportunity. Shouldn't? Uh, by a company uh, in, in the south of the United Kingdom, mm -hmm. and um, this company films, facilitates broadcasting, yeah, live television, yeah, as it was soaps, yeah, and I, I, I have to create something called OSC. So oh. an OSC is basically an operating safety case, and in very simple terms, it's uh, it's like a, a framework. Um, of documentation sounds boring it's like that's, that's, that's a, it's a framework of documentation yeah. oh someone like me needs to write yep. or, or, or or help them write yep. um in order to operate the drone or fly a drone yeah in very like uh in very sort of um close areas proximity to people okay rounds so for example hmm. and writing an operating safety case for filling the football stadium Okay, so if you think about football stadium, there's what hundreds of thousands, maybe oh, yeah. millions of the area in the yeah. area. So how do you film a drone that weighs twenty five kilograms? Yeah, and then people need to be safe. Yeah, it's, it's difficult to do that with just flying a drone and, and, a, and a single remote pilot, you know. But if you could write an operating safety case to make sure that the drone is is safe in terms of its operation and the the pilot is flying in the same yeah. way, then uh, you know you can go ahead and you can progress that. Well, and the, the most exciting project I did was actually. With the F1 racing, so I, oh yeah, I wanted to come to that. <laughs> yeah, so and so, yeah, absolutely. So we filmed, oh, we, we facilitated the filming of, of an F1 race um, uh, in in uh, in Europe. So that was really exciting. And in fact, over various locations and cities. Perfect. I mean, that, that's actually incredible because what you were telling me about like recording the drones and the cars and. The drones are faster than the cars at the beginning, but then when they go after 120 miles an hour, you said. They they cannot catch up. So 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 drones um uh, uh, are limited in terms of speed, right? Uh, especially multi rotors. Yeah. So the multi rotors are things that are basically the, the spinning propellers. Yeah. Um and uh, they're limited to certain speeds. So yeah, I, I you know the, the the drones that I use for filming you know F1 are, are limited in speed, but mm. they're, they're very capable in terms of the you know, the, the camera system. Oh yeah, speed. So yeah, it's really exciting. Yeah, that's incredible. And now, for example, it is many, many, many businesses have their unique customer. Who do you think your unique customer will be? What type of company or who do you think will be? I would say customers are people who, who already operate with drones, but would like to film in areas where they're not usually allowed to. Mm -hmm. So, for example, let's say you were a real estate company mm -hmm. and you wanted to film in, in specific areas 
uh, you know, let's say, say for example, neighborhoods, mm -hmm. and you needed, um, uh, you know, documentation or, or authorization, you know, drawn up or written. Mm -hmm. I would support them. Or let's just say you were a filming company um, and you wanted to operate, say, near a stadium, or you wanted to operate parts of Europe, or you wanted to operate higher than you normally could. Yeah. You basically, our company would, would support you with writing the documentation and making sure that you're aware of the procedures of operating a drone in those areas. Yeah. Yeah. And also as well, if I remember well, you said something that people like to say, then you want to also to work with companies that they were doing the good for the environment and they were doing good for the society and good for the world. Yeah. So, so environmentally friendly, you know, tech companies or companies are maybe su supporting in terms of, um, it could be agricultural companies. Um, it could be companies uh, looking at, you know, sort of, you know, offshore or sort of wind, wind power and, uh, type um, energy systems, so green energy systems. Um, yeah. You know, you generally probably need an operating safety case because you're going to be flying potentially extended visual line of sight, or you're doing autonomous operations. We we could write the uh, operating safety case, yeah, or operation authorization for that. That sounds incredible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's it's amazing. Okay, so now a question to most of the people within the audience: It is that I know us. Yeah. We have gone through the 2007 crisis, yeah. which it did not allow us to, to grow income or to, to, to have a better life. Yeah. And now we're going to go through a second crisis, the pandemic slash Brexit slash Ukraine war. Yes. So what do you think these people need to do in the future in order to have a better financial happiness life or financial life? Better financial. Or to be in a better financial position. Better financial position. Yeah. I think um, in your personal opinion, my, obviously we're not allowed to give advice. Yeah, yeah, not to give advice, but I would say in my opinion, I think di diversification. I think being diverse and understanding your market. Mm -hmm. If you can just carry on doing what you're doing, but 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 not like you're exiting one basket, um, I think it will help because there, there are even in my industry right now, there are probably some clients who who may struggle financially over the next six months. Yeah, um, or, or you know, to a year. Um, it could be like, for example, in the, the real estate market, um, for example, um, but I think specifically, um, if you, you know, things will change, things like, um, sports, you know, there's, there's always going to be filming things like, yeah. for example, um, you know, so en energy type, um, surveying, like, yeah. um, well, using thermal cameras, et cetera, for example, in, in neighborhoods, there, there are also companies who, who will continue going on. And so we, we will support them. Uh, and, and that will change. So, perfect. Yeah. So now the question is, what are your, as a personal thing, what are your future investment plans? Just the same thing, diversification, any type of company? So you will just try to look for the ones and they will do well? Or what do you think yourself? No. So I, I, I'm not looking at the current market. I think it's important for me to, to look ahead. Like, look, five, ten years ahead, I would say, and, and, and ask yourself the question, and that's why I did, you know, is is where where are we going globally? Where are we going in the world? What's happening in the market? Um, and and so so I'm not necessarily looking at you know is it is it a for what back in 2008 the credit crunch and you know, the better of all these terms coming out? Yeah, I think ten years maybe. And then so where where's like so for for, for me what am I going to do? Well, the drone rules I think is we're going to be uh, an, a continue being an educational organisation. Yep, we're going to help the, the drone industry grow massively. In any way we possibly can. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's the goal: is how do we support the drone industry from an experience point of view? How do we provide knowledge for people? Yeah. How do we facilitate and, and activate companies? Yeah. To to do incredible things in the industry. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I'm going for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going full force, and um, it's really exciting. And I, for me, I want to support the, the younger generation. You know, that's a big part of what we do. I would say thirty percent of what we do. He's definitely supporting you, which I really see. It's incredible all this team work when you're doing it yourself. I have seen it, and I mean, it's unbelievable with the libraries, the schools. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We've, we've, we've done we've done several dozen schools already in 2022. Um, we've worked with some colleges. Yeah, uh, worked with museums. So you know, we're growing that. And we've had we've had over 100 students get their flyer IDs. Whoa. So, you know, it, it's all like a, a drone license, but not, not quite. Yeah. But it's, um, but they can essentially fly, uh, certain types of drones. Yeah. Um, without being, you know, without going into 
natural law. So what was the younger age that you were helping different kids with? with because I know you do drones, coding, and much more, so... You can say we were to is, I think, about four years old. Four years old? Four years old, yeah. Oh, oh. It's quite young. But so what were you doing with them? Oh, yeah, because we did three activities. Code a drone, build a drone, and race a drone. Yeah. I think they were doing a uh, race drone. So oh. They were teaching them hand-eye coordination. Yeah. Teaching them that. Um, giving them an understanding of how drones work, the sensors. Oh, that's incredible. How could... I mean... I will not believe myself using a drone with four years old. I didn't even touch a computer and like, well, that's, uh, like I know, 14 or 15. Yeah, like it's, it's changing rapidly. So it's it's incredible. <laughs> yeah. So for yourself, for example, to keep yourself motivated and keep it going, Yeah. what do you do? To keep myself motivated? Yeah. I, you know, I wake up 5.36. 5.36, well, where, where did that come from? I, um, I, I just think that, Starting early in the day is great. Oh, yeah. You get a head start. Mm -hmm. And 5.36, I can go for a run. You know, there's not a lot of cars around. Yep. As soon as I go for a cycle, I, I used to uh, race quite a bit when I was younger. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I joined uh, the East Bar Cycle Club. Oh, whoa. The aim was to join and, yeah. and get to the Olympics 20, 2012. But unfortunately, I, was, I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> in terms of the funding as well, but I, oh, yeah. I did uh, race, I did the British um, Bucks, British University Championships. Whoa. 2.2 um, mile hill climb, I did a 25 mile TT. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, keeping fit is one of my main things. So so that, that energy and that, you know, keeps me going. And then after, you know, going for a smoke you know, size, you know, I'll probably have breakfast and then um, I'll head straight out. I had to come to the, to the BIPC centre. Oh, great. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, the BAPC has got so much support available for it. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. That, that's why we're here. So, so thank you to them. And, and, and after that, I'll, I'll probably head out, maybe do some dry operations, some training, some consultations. Um, and uh, yeah, just keeping the energy alive. Yeah. Just doing things, keeping myself busy. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, because truth me Because one thing that happens with many entrepreneurs, it is that many people focus on making money, business, no time at all. So how do you keep happy with hanging with people or do you just work and don't focus on the family, friends and so on? So, so how do I keep, uh, I guess, so family, uh, you know, they're quite core. Cool. Yeah. Um, and, and there's obviously, sometimes it, there's times are limited, especially with, with, with owning a business. <laughs> but when you do get a time, it's, it's quality time. It's great. And um, I do meet the family, you know, regularly. We often go, they're in the north, so, you know, I feel like you travel north, and as soon as I come back down south, my accent's changed. And then I start talking, and they yeah, off to the pub and sitting on grass. So. <laughs> I mean, that's, as a business entrepreneur, I mean, that's the difficult part, especially at the beginning when you, have, you, don't, you don't make money with your company. You have to still work in full time for somebody else's, and then you still have to see your family and the commitments. Yes, it is challenging, but you've you, you got to find a balance. Uh, I'm not sure if there is always a balance in the beginning, but the, the, there's got to be some some form of um, yeah, uh, you know, unbal balance. And um, you have to. I think at the, at the end of the day, it's it's priority. Yeah, yeah once you can support. So coming to business and also personal, yeah. which is many companies or many people yeah. have got missions, visions, and values. So what are you willing to do, or what you are not willing to do in your company? Yeah, I think. I'm open-minded, uh, but I, but I'm also you know staying in the law. There's, yes, there's limitations. Obviously, the, the the core part of what we are in terms of teaching is 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 where we're training people and, and making sure we're doing things right mm -hmm. uh, for the betterment, of, I guess, of the country in some ways. And yeah, so 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 I uh, yeah I, I'm not I don't work with criminals. That's, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah. So, so what about now if a Russian oligarch will give you like a thousand or a hundred million pounds in order to do something that it will not be within your books? Would you do it for that much of money? No, I don't think that. I think, I think that if anybody, I think at the end of the day, you know, you got to ask yourself the question, you know, is it, is it worth doing any of that? You know, even, even, you know, at that amount, you know, so yeah, the, the, the main thing is, the main thing is, is how, I think the question I asked myself, I think at the very beginning was, how do I progress you know, in the most honest way? Because at the end of the day, you know, yeah. you know things come out as well. Um, I think the most important thing actually is just giving the best you can in the most honest way. Yeah. Uh, and that's what we've been trying to do. You know, 
Yeah, because how would you feel if you do something that's against your values? Do you, do you want to feel happy? No, exactly, yeah. And, it, and it's, the thing at the end of the day, it's always at the back of the mind as well. You know, it never goes away. You know, it's, it's always going to be there. Yeah. Uh, but on the, at least my case, but so, yeah. yeah. Training and developing yourself in this world has to be an important part of your business, especially, I believe, with all the chances that the industry has. Massive. So what do you do yourself to learn and to keep yourself happy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, with what I do, training and investing in yourself from an educational point of view is the forefront. It's yeah. like, it's the ultimatum. Um, training yourself generally in most industries is, is a good thing. Yeah, positive thing. But with what I'm doing, because I'm constantly training people <laughs> on the, at, you know, at the very forefront of, of a technology that is, yeah, that it is, has developed, but is constantly evolving. It's so important. Yeah, because he's training the trainer, like, especially with the, in, the, the, the standards that you're trying to build as well. Oh, yeah, massively. So I, I, I'm currently, um, I, I'm a member of the British Davis Institute. Yeah. And, and I chair um, the, the, essentially the drone operations or procedures mm -hmm. um, group. Wow, is it? No. And it's really exciting. How, how did you do that? And, you know, that, 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 that. <laughs> Friends in high places. No, no, no. no, no. no I mean, I, I know that you're extremely good with networking. Yeah. So I think if you could show that you're capable, there's something called SQUEP, S -S -U -B -P, suitably qualified oh, yeah. experienced yeah. personnel. You can be sure that you're suitably qualified and you're experienced. Yeah. Anybody can really do it. Yeah. Um, you just have to kind of put your name forward. And actually, we're looking for people. So yeah. if, you're, if you're suitably qualified, experienced, and you have a passion for... The drone industry. Yeah. You know, reach out. So you must have the John. So why do you think people should be working with you or investing in your company? Wow. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, honestly, you know, first of all, I've got a massive passion for the drone industry. That's first things first. I've, I've got it because, first of all, my, my, my mother, she she was in uh, the the, uh, the aviation industry. She actually got me into the aviation industry. And I've, I've ever since I was a kid, initially was a jet pilot. Um, yeah, but 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 now it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of drone technology, but um, as well as the drive and the passion, I um, yeah I, I did a degree in aerospace engineering. Oh wow, yeah, university in London. I um, have have joined various groups and um, supporting uh, the aviation industry. Yeah, you know, and so well, I'm going to create a company that. It, it, the question I ask myself is, if my clients are happy, uh, and they're not progressing. Then I'm like, I really should be where I should, where I, am. I, should, I should be doing what I'm doing. Yeah, and that's the first things first. So I'm, I'm always, it's always about keeping the stakeholders and the shareholders, you know, happy. Because uh, at the end of the day, that's what the business is. Is yes, who are the clients? Who are the customers? Are they happy? And and if they're happy, and they're, and and then, and the business is going to grow because the, you help you get repeat work or stuff. Yeah, and so the so so why should you invest in me? I guess because we're going to grow the business, we're going to increase it. And, and it's a win-win situation for everyone. Yeah. Um, the company grows. We reinvest almost 100 percent, all of us, and back into the company. Yeah. That that's great. I mean, because yeah. so many people, especially online. Yeah, yeah. You can see them buying really expensive watches, really expensive things. No, no, no. What is your opinion on that? Okay, I've got some friends. I have some family members actually that do that, and it's not you know fine, great, enjoy yourself. But you know, if you've got the money to do it, do it. Me personally, I really my my main. I really care about growing the business. Because would you have been would you have been able check Would you have been able to be where you are if you would have spent that money on buying a Lamborghini? Not not <laughs> no, not initially no. no 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 so definitely not. I probably could have put the down payment down. Is it? <laughs> but no, I've, I, I you got to think swell financially. Yeah. So 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 the right right now it's just nah. Got everything into into the into the business. Yeah, it would be amazing to see what's gonna happen in the next five years. Yeah, now so look, come here again and do do another interview and see how how you how sorry, how you get it on. Yeah, it'll be exciting. I'm looking forward to doing another interview. Yeah, in in two three years time. This yeah. will be amazing. But then also, guys, if you would like to know more about what Will does, please, we're gonna put some information in the in the screen somewhere. You will be able to see it and you will be able to uh, to click more about him and to get to know more about him. So thank you so much for coming here. Thank you. And yeah, we will catch up next time. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for having me. And fantastic. I look forward to catching up with you soon. Thank you so much, guys. And see you next time. Take care.